But yeah, 1500 a month basically times 12, that's 18 grand for the year. That, that's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. But that's the thing, yeah? The reason why, yeah, I tell people to try to save up a thousand pounds every month. Because imagine, yeah, imagine if you can only save up two, three hundred pounds every month. Imagine, yeah, once you hit a thousand pounds, then you're at 1,200 in September. Then you're at 1,400 in October. Then you're at 1,600 in November. Then you're at 1,800 in December. Whereas if you're saving up a thousand pounds a month, every month you're in a new bracket. Yeah, you was, a, you was at a thousand pounds in September. Then you're at two in October. Then you're at three in November. Then you're at four in December. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like you, you can see the results. Whereas if you're only saving up one or 200 pounds in there, you ain't seeing no fucking results. I mean, if I'm only saving up 200 pounds and I'm going from 1,000 to 1,200 to 400 to 500, uh, 600, 800 and that, ain't no fucking results. It's better than nothing, but ain't no results. No, 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 no. So, yeah, man. And then there's some dumb people, yeah, that will say, ah, oh, um, the reason why some people are able to save up is because they're living at home with their parents and that. Blood, a lot of these people that say that, I promise you, if they had the opportunity to live at their parents' house, man, they would just live at their parents' house and then go and buy a Mercedes or, or lease or finance a Mercedes. There's so many people I've come across who say, ah, oh, the reason why you was able to save up is because you was living at your parents' house and that. These same people, if they went back in time, they would. Yeah, maybe save up a little bit of money, but you know what? I've got to live my life. 